Welcome back, Trinidad and Tobago. And joining us on the morning, bro, this time, Coon Trinidad Killer Joseph. And this morning, there are a number of issues that we cover surrounding carnival and how carnival activities are shaping and changing our conversations. Now, Coon Joseph has been very vocal on social media. He started having phenomenal success over the last year and bringing the dance hall vibe. I mean, well, 10 years ago, Jamaican dance hall ruled the airwaves, and many of you may be too young to remember that. But now it seems as though the relevance of the Jamaican artists and the genre is waning in Trinidad and Tobago, as we have created a number of artists that are now leading the way and championing the cause of the dance hall beat. Fast forward to Carnival 2020, does a dance hall have a place? in partying or even the carnival season. Now, in addition to that, there's a Soka Mona controversy, a voice note that was released that made its way into mainstream media. Is it a fight down scene? Or is it simply the judge's decision is final? Good morning, Mr. Joseph, how are you? Good morning. First of all, I would like to say it's a pleasure being here. Well, you know, I, I must say I was looking forward to this interview all morning. A lot of con a lot of conversation on social media about. So let's start where all of this started. Yeah. The term zessing. Zessing. So what is zessing? How did that term initially even come about? Zessing is the people who love the party, the party goers, the people who will stay in the party till the party done, the people who don't sleep, the people who don't rest. They just love the party. You understand me? But you know the word originate from the ghetto so people stigma stigmatize it and give it a bad meaning you know zessin was never written in the dictionary so people just take zessin and put their own meaning to it but which part the word originate from zessin is from the ghetto when you look at your influences, would you describe your songs as dancehall? I mean, you've been, how would you describe your music? Well, I sing all types of music, dancehall, soca, chutney. Looking at the, who influences your music? If you know a lot of people say that they look to these artists and that artist, where do you get your inspiration? To I get my inspiration from God. Because I don't put my trust in man, I put my trust in God. You've been working about 17 years in the industry. 17 years in the industry, I really struggle and I come from a poor family. I grew up without a father. I grew up with my mother alone and leave my mother's house at a young age. I always knew that I have this talent to make it happen, but I didn't know when it would happen. So I struggle, I struggle, I struggle till I wasn't playing my music on radio for 17 years. And I finally break that cycle. Now I start to get heavy rotation. The system start to fight me now. You know, when you talk about the heavy rotation, at one time, you had a situation where radio stations would determine what is being played at the parties, that they kind of set the tone. And now it's now it's changing a little bit. It, it's changing. Look, I went to Fed last week, FOC, and a DJ play my song. And the crowd gone mad and he pull it up. I actually see the promoter run to the DJ and tell the DJ, don't play that song. And it's a good song. It's a song where everybody can relate to. That is this. Up down, 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 them want to zest. Whole and the young coming out of the nest. You understand? So why they doing this? Sometimes a man might see a man and don't know a man struggles behind the music industry. You know, as a young artist, it's very hard to come up in the music industry because if you look every year, is the same faces in the industry, right, you, right, you, right, you, right, you. When last you see a youth come out and bust big international as a soca star. So you, do you see yourself as a dancehall artist or a soca artist or an entertainer? An entertainer, I come to entertain the people. I do bound to have a song to mash up a crowd and that's what make me good. It have some people born to do this and some people learn to do this. You know, the conversation about the Soka Monarch. Yeah. So you talk about, you know, you're in this business for a long time and you looked at the fact that the system was fighting you down. Yeah. Is this simply about recognition that you feel as though you're not being recognized? Well, I have level at you the other day that take the world by storm. And the system realized I have the power to change the whole music industry. You understand? So they're trying to fight it. But they can't fight it, they done gone already. 
So if it is that you have all this recognition and the music is gaining, because now, as I said earlier, it was at one time, radio stations would determine who makes or breaks. Now Isn't you have this huge underground sort of zesting movement and these parties that are taking place. Correct. That yes. now, that is determining the airplay. So if you're shifting the power play, then why complain about the system if you're already beating it? You know, because the system's so powerful as well. Remember, when you do music, you might get views on YouTube. You understand? You might get so. You remember, we blind to certain things, you know. We as artists coming out from the ghetto, we blind to certain things. And I have do seven shows on the outside for the past month, Bahamas. And when I go out there and I start to see, and I come back here with that knowledge because I is a very intelligent fella. And I started to show people certain things were going on in the music industry. Remember, I opening up people's eyes. Youths like me who don't know, because it's a youth down here who's singing. And the tune's very, very, very big on the outside. I tell you, when I reach out there, I shocked to see how people meeting me and screaming and bawling. Look, Trinidad killer, limousine, this kind of poop. You understand? And I listening to the music, the same music that's trending over here, the local dance hall is very big on the outside. So again, let me bring it back. Is it simply that you feel a little hurt or you feel slighted that they still don't recognize artists like yourself? That you don't think that's... Me? Remember time in the industry and you start to expose and open up your mouth and what's going on. You will get a fight. Anybody who's standing up for the right thing will get a fight. You started on social media with the conversation about dancehall in the carnival season because you felt as though the DJs and the party promoters and the FET organizers were not giving the local dancehall artists. It's only a problem because dancehall have been in Soka years now. I remember as a youth man growing up, going to all these fell flat, flat, flower mill licensing, seeing BD man, Red Rat, seeing artists doing combination with dancehall artists in the carnival time. You understand? Now it's local dancehall. Why fight it? Why are you all fighting it? What about these foreigners who come in from overseas who just come Trinidad and Tobago once a year and dies for carnival and these local artists trending and hoping to see these local artists in a party? When you look at, you know, the fight down, who is fighting you down? Pardon? Who is fighting you down? People in authority. Who are these people? Well, I can't pinpoint them and say he and he and he, but the people in authority is doing it. But you are being, looking at the popularity when I said, the system has changed. I mean, even social media has changed traditional media, where my job now has to figure out what social media is saying and have that conversation. Hence, you are here this morning yeah. because you are a trending topic on social yeah. media. So if you are shifting the power and you have that, then why not simply do it on your own? There are so many artists I, who are creating underground movements without the big name records. It have real artists creating underground movement, getting the recognition, but not making money. Okay. You understand? Where the money part is, you might get the exposure, you might get the thing, but they're not making money. It have plenty dancehall artists who are tunes very big and not making money. Why? Because the system don't want to incorporate it and make it work. You understand? Remember so did any of the DJs ever say to you we're not playing your music? Did any of the radio no, stations? No, no, no. No radio station do say that. It's so much the radio station and the DJs could do, you know. Remember, it's down, it all boiled down now to the promoter hiring you for event. Have you been hired for any carnival event? Yeah, yeah. I, I will be at Hyatt Lime. I will be at Army Fed. A couple, a couple of things on the schedule. So you are being? Yeah. So, and so your dancehall is being played in, in Carnival? Not that I, not dancehall alone, I have about four different tunes on heavy rotation to Soka. And we talk about, so let's talk a little bit about the leaked voice note. Yeah, well. So, let me first yeah. ask you, did you leak the voice note? No. Okay. What do you think was the purpose of this voice note being put out in the public domain? Sometimes I believe something does have to happen for something to happen. You understand? So you benefited the most from this voice note being leaked because people started taking notice of it. Yes, that is that is simply opening up the people's eyes and letting people see what's taking place in the industry because I can't understand. I have a tune on the top 20 in Soka in Trinidad and to be who top in charts in Canada. 
New York, when you look on YouTube, 270 something thousand views, and you telling me these people who they put into Soka Mona, when you go on YouTube and watch the song, 5,000 views, 6,000 views, 7,000 views. Remember, Soka Mona is a competition where I take in my money and pay in my money to register. So I'm looking for fair results. Okay, you know, is this simply, when you talk about fair results, I mean, the Grammys, which were recently held, yes. you had Sean Pedidi Coombs getting up and talking about the judges' decisions and questioning it. So competitions are known for that, but in the end, the judges' decision is it's final. final. Yeah, and I so is it that, that you don't respect the judges' decision? No, well, at the point in time, I was acting off for emotions because I was a very emotional person knowing that after 17 years I go through so hard a thing and a final, I always watch Soka Muna as a platform, a stage that I always want to be on. You know, coming up, I go to nearly all Soka Muna. So I always pity in myself on that stage, you know, and this year I come with a good tune and I was hoping to be in the semifinals. But you know, sometimes a man doesn't think about what he's doing. Do you at the spur at the moment. But I went to my listen back the voice note and realized that I was wrong and the judge's decision is final. You know, so I call Simon Batista and apologize to him and tell him I'm very sorry. I'm sincerely apologizing from the bottom of my heart. You know, because Soka Munak is now all. Okay. Is this the end of your Soka Monarch run? You talk about ha being a, having it as a childhood fantasy and you have done so well. You represent hope for a number of, a number of youth in yeah, communities that are not sued. So is this the end of your Soka Monarch run? No, I will just, I feel I don't want to pattern no competition again in my career. You know, my whole mission is to stand up and give the youths and them an opportunity because nobody not doing it. Nobody not doing it. They have so much talent in Trinidad and Tobago. People just reach out to me on a daily basis. Yes, boy, brother, I like what you're doing. Keep it up. And 17 years, I know the struggle. So I know the struggle that somebody is going through trying to make it. In terms of, you know, you look... So you say that at your end of competition, you call Simon, you apologize. Yeah. Will we see you? A lot of, there's a little bit of a rumor that you still will end up on the stage in some form or fashion. Will you be there on Fantastic Friday? <laughs> well, if, if they call me, I know that choice, I'll win. Now, when you look at your lyrics itself, <clears throat> people say that even with the name Trinidad Killer, yeah. you've had you've been on the, in the market for 17 years, yeah. and your struggle and your your tenacity is admirable. I can't say that a number of young people who look to you and they emulate you. You may not fall have followed the conventional route, but you did it. In terms of the lyrics of your songs, some people believe that music in itself, some of the artists just simply contribute to the moral decay in our society. They look at the issue of domestic violence, of crime, of guns on the nation's streets. Do you think artists are responsible for what's happening, or what, what do you think is the responsibility of an no, artist? Lack of op opportunities that is what causing the crime in Trinidad and Tobago. Lack of opportunities. It are plenty talented youth here out here. They might be might not have a proper education, but they could play an instrument. They could sing. But if they have nobody to look to, nobody to help them move forward, how they how they go move forward? Like me, you know how much time I get discouraged and feel to go and do wrong things. I could have be doing something wrong out there. You understand? But I make up my mind. I'm a strong person. I make up my mind. I say, boy, I hold it on and I ride it until I get this break. With the lyrics that you have, I mean, one of the one of your more, more popular tunes would have been Gunman and she Yeah. Some people may frown on those lyrics. And then, then there are those hundreds of people in parties who are, and who are dancing to this, who are singing to this. Is it simply that mainstream media and there's a sort of social status in society that simply just ignore and they don't know what's happening on the ground? No, well, it's only we, you know. It's only we that's 
to look at things at, from a negative side because in other countries they're using it as entertainment. You understand me? When I say, when I sing that song, gun man in your hole, do literally mean taking a gun and putting it. You understand what I'm saying? I hear you. Gun man in your hole, this is a profile, people profile people. Sometimes you see a man in a vest, a slipper, a chain, and you say he's a gun man. You understand? You don't have to be a gun man. Sometimes you see a policeman, look at look a gun man. You see a, a, a army man, look at a gun man. You understand me? Look at thing went viral on social media the other day where the soldiers say, soldiers in she hold, she like, it's entertainment. This is entertainment. Remember the cycle changing, music changing. It's back in the days just when, like, Elephant Man and them used to sing, signal the plane, you signal the right. plane, and signal upon the river, upon the bank, you understand? The music is changing, and more younger generation partying right now. So this is the kind of thing they, they adapt into. I think sometimes we give artists a bad rap, you know, because I had a long conversation with a number of DJs, prominent DJs in the business who really do believe that you are being fight down, that you represent something that is just not, it, there's not the pretty side, you know, they, they're not a socially accepted bit, but you sing lyrics no different to what anybody else. You have a whole chutney genre that sings about honing and rum. You have a whole soca yeah. genre that sings about taking a woman and doing whatever yeah. you want to do with Look, her. For instance, my mother telling me, don't play that tune in she house. Gun man in your hole, but listening to, I feel to put something in your mouth, and I know what you're talking about. You understand me? We big and we are sense. Come on, let me be real. Stop fighting talent and let local talent live. You know, when you talk about your mothers, you said earlier that you had a very tough upbringing, yeah. that you grew up without a father. We have a situation in this country where women are being killed, and there's a serious violent problem against women in our country. When also you sing lyrics, sometimes people believe that you and other artists have a responsibility to influence young men, in particular, their kind of behavior. What would you say to that? What I say is that I wouldn't say that, you know? Because if you realize, when I sing that song, I did not stay there. I realize I get the recognition because some negativity sells them. And this is what I do to get the recognition and enter the door. You can see as I sing that song, I just transform from that and show the people how versatile I was. That's why I used to open the door. Come like that, it's a key where I used to open the door. Gone man in your hole, and as the door opened, dies I realized carnival was coming, so I wanted to be in the carnival, dies They're using the, the term zessin in a bad way, I put it in a way where everybody can relate to it. Man, woman, child, everybody dancing and enjoying the song. You know, after that, I bring out a song, they move bad, mind move, let we pass. <coughs> you understand? Positive lyrics. Get low, positive lyrics, all them lyrics positive. You understand me? They realize the power that I have to change the whole industry. So if you have that power, yeah. Aaron, then let me ask you specifically. You have a song called You Ain't See. Yeah. And again, the same conversation that we're having about gunman in your home. Yeah. People will ask, you, you grew up in a single mother home. Yeah. So you understand that women in this country are being abused, yes. are being killed. Yeah. Do you think that soca artists and entertainers should be a little more responsible? Or how do they help the problem? How would a man like you help the problem? Remember, you make you make a child, you make a child mine, you know. So you could do what you want. Because how music music can influence me. But music can do you influence think, me. Do you think music influences a generation of young people? A generation, yeah, but not in a bad way to say like picking up a gun and you're going and you rob and wherever the case may be. Them just listen at home and thing and use it as entertainment, as I say entertainment, because look, outside, the same set of music playing and how the crime rate is so high, people using it as entertainment. You know, this, this whole thing stems from lack of opportunities. And you don't think that the music is contributing to the disrespect and the moral morality that we have in society? No, I don't believe so. When you talk about young men like yourself, you know, you talk about the hard life and that you grew up from the ghetto and that you represent something that, you know, you want others to emulate. What do you say to the young men in your community? Well, I talk here and I feel like tears when they come out my 
the young men in my community, you know, I always like to talk to people because I've been through a lot. You Tell me a little me? bit about what you've been through. Pardon? Tell me a little bit about what you've been through. I leave my mother's house at a young age, end up on the streets, while on the streets, end up gravitating to the wrong thing, gambling, smoking, doing a whole heap of wrong things. You understand? <laughs> so what caused you to change your life and then enter? Because I realized that life is not for me. I'm too talented for that. You know? So what do you say to young men in your community that are gravitating to the wrong things? As I just say? always try. Anywhere I go to perform, I just always cry out that positive message and give them the positive side of me. Like, you know, anything you're doing, keep up. Have faith because I is a strong believer of God. I don't put my faith in man. You know, I just always try to give them that positive side of me. Anywhere I go before I start to perform, when I perform, and because I just believe music is entertainment. And if you see music as entertainment, if you're wondering, we're talking to a Trinidad killer, and I'm going to ask the producers to open the phone lines for just a short, short bit. I know we have a very tight show this morning, but this is about finding out uh, whether you feel the conversation about dancehall and soca music, uh, and also the conversation as well uh, as a young man who's giving a little bit of his life story and what uh, is involved in creating what you see as the personality on set. So it's 6247216786588. Our phone lines are open for a very, very short bit at this time. Um, you know, when you look look at um, when you look at your plans for the rest of the year mm -hmm. you say you know, that people are fighting you down or people approaching you to do collaborations and are you real people 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 who never even wanted to work for, work with me back then we have a call on the line. I want to ask our callers, remember to be respectful to our guests. And listen on the telephone line and not on your television. Um, can we get our first call? Hello, good morning. Good morning, Eva. Good morning. Yes, and good morning to you again. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know him that much, eh? but um, I believe in what he's saying. It have a lot of talent in the um, ghetto and so on. But you see that song? I don't know if he's singing it there. This gunman in the hole, that is a very foolish song. I don't like it. All right, Thank sure. You. Thank you much, so much, Cola. Well, we're all entitled to our opinion. 6247216278658. Our phone lines are open. Uh, we're talking to Trinidad Killer. Uh, there are a number of songs, some of the more famous ones, maybe the ones with the more controversial lyrics, but he says that that's simply what people are listening to. But there are so many other songs that he's offered. We have another call on the line. Hello, good morning. Trinidad Killer, good morning, and to you, my dear. Good morning. Trinidad Killer, my brother, I want to let you know that there is a soccer mafia, and I want to support you in what we say. There is a soccer mafia for artists, and therefore you have to pay dues. I want you to continue persevering. You, there's a platform where you are giving young people an opportunity to vent, and I want to wish you all the success, my brother. You have seen your eyes are open and you have not become wiser. Sure. Thanks so much, Cola. We're trying to facilitate uh, two more calls before we wrap this interview. 6247216278658. We have Trinidad Killer on the Morning Brew. He says that he called Simon Batiste and said sorry and that he's done with competition. We have a call on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Mr. Ma. Good morning. Um, good morning. Good morning, Trinidad. Good morning. Um, um, I do respect um, Trinidad Killer for what he's trying to do, I mean, in all his positive stuff. But at the end of the day, I always believe that music has uh, influence on you on a mind, as your mindset, right? Whether if you're feeling sad, whether if you're feeling happy, music is something to use through entertainment and to enjoy life, right? But at some times, at some point at time, sometimes when you feel sad, you listen to sad music. Sometimes you feel happy, you listen to happy music. I do believe that songs have a, ne um, has a positive or a negative effect on sure. you as a, a human being. Sure, thank, thanks so much, Cola. We got the gist of the contrast. We have time for one final call before we wrap this interview with Trinidad Killer and looking at uh, what's taking place. We have our final call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Morning, Yo. host. Good morning, killer boy. Morning, morning, sir. Kill, I, 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 I appreciate what you're saying there, no boy. But you see, you see the word get to boy? I pass all through tongue all over. I that country boy, you know. I, I pass all through tongue. But that word get to, I, I want to let you it away, man. We are up in no ghetto. We grew up in a neighborhood, man. And that, that was full of them fellas said, but we get to, and we have to act as ghetto. No. Let me back as, as we from West Marin, man. You know? Sure. Thanks so much. Your closing comments, Trinacula, you know, you talk about, you've made it. You've come from situations where you've lived on the streets. Mm. And that, the tenacity to do that 
has to be admired. Yes. But now people believe that you have a platform. Yeah, yeah. You see it as an you see it as entertainment. Um, and as I said, all all genres of music, and I can't just say because of your your wording may be quite different, but yeah. uh, there is a level that people question the morality and the in, the originality in compositions of music. But what do you want to say to all of your critics out there? This started. You said that you. In hindsight, you regret the voice note being put out. Yeah. You didn't release it. Uh, you said sorry to Simon Batiste. Yeah. We don't know whether you're going to be on Soka Monarch or not in some form or the other. Yeah. But what do you say to Trinidad and Tobago, to all of those who are a little hesitant and a little afraid of Trinidad Killer? Yeah, well, you know, I will continue doing what I'm doing, keep producing good music, and fighting for the younger generation coming up in the music. If I had to be the man that to step in the industry and change that, is that why I'm going to stand up for? Because I know where I come from, and it's very, 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 very hard for upcoming artists to get a platform. That is why these artists gravitate into singing these kind of music. Because, you know, 17 years I sing in soca, I never get through, and as I sing something negative, gone man in the hole, it gone worldwide. Which and why is I booked for over 60 shows already on the outside after the carnival? Negativity do sell, but I did not keep it on that neg negative platform. I take it and try to change it and show the people how versatile I am because I never stick the all my tunes off that positive. So anything are you doing, put God first, mankind after. I want to thank you. That in mind. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah. Take a short break when we come back. We'll have more for you. Stay with us. This is the morning room. Feel it, power, feel it, power, nice